Little girls, too innocent to know they're living in a sick world. They can't control me. I came for the bread and the cheese. That's a sandwich for me and my homies. Anytime you see us on the road, no, we're trying to bring communities together as a whole. See, I ain't changed much. Just a better hope. Okay, we're going back live right now. Curfew, you are gone, my brother. Have we still got a delay? Yes, mother. Let me check. What does it sound like now, bro? No delay. No delay. One, two, no three, delay. four. Let one, two, three, four. Okay, still a little bit of a delay. Yeah, still a little bit of a delay. I don't want to see my brother touching death like a fish out of water because he was on a flipping high. For hard bars, I'm a usual suspect. It's got rappers shook, so don't say that it's a different guy. Different life, like a hammock in Hawaii. And a catching Zeds on stands, I'm like, why? Last time I checked, I weren't singing lullabies. Don't you think I'm too close to busting next? It's a sign, it's just life. And I'm trying to bring you more of it. While I'm blocking up the figures like ornaments. My 16s make beats freeze like ornaments. It's a blitz creek, the 16 supporting them. Okay, we're back. Friday flexing right now. We got curfew in the house. It's your boy Veej. So, Kerf, what's been going down, bro? How's your week been? Tell the people. It's been all been a, another day at uh, another week at work. I work in manufacturing. So the place is open at the moment, so I'm just uh, doing my daily hustle, and um, that's it. Going to chill for the weekend. Really, not much we can do, is there? Hustle harder, hustle, hustle harder. That's what we do. That's hustle, what we hustle. do, people. We that's the best. We yeah. So what would you reckon, baby? baby? So, Kev, are you looking forward to things opening up? Because we got some stuff planned, right? Yeah, I am. I am gagging for things to open up now, bro. Trust me. We're at a stage now where this. I think we've got so much energy built up now. Explosions <laughs> when we kind of get out there and start getting the festivals going and start getting the events going again. It's going to be big. Can't wait. Okay. So, so just to let the people them know, people might be aware, Festival Too Funky has been lined up. Um, so yeah, guys, yes. you know, well, Too Funky, and it's going to be absolutely crazy. We're already doing the lineup. So if you want to be on that lineup, hit us up, hit us up, hit up Curfew, hit up your boy Veej, whatever it is, make sure you just let us know whenever you're ready, you know? Definitely. It's going to be big. End of May, yeah? 100%, bro. 100%. Should I give people the date, the time we're on? Yeah, go on. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Okay, so we're going to be live at Festival 2 Funky. Hopefully, we're keeping our fingers crossed right now. Um, um, I don't... I believe we will be on oh, May the 30th, Sunday, May the 30th. We will be live in Festival 2 Funky doing the festival. So that'll be our first, that'll, that'll be our first, first event back, really. Big. Can't wait, man. Can't wait. Yeah. So, Kev, I think your delays have yeah, definitely man. gone lower a lot. Let's try to bring Stanza in. He said he's got no video, but let's bring him in. Stanza, can you hear us, bro? Where you at, Stanza? It's not happening, is it? Hey, yo, stand up. Where you at, my brother? It's not going down, is it? It's not going too oh, tough. Oh, my G. I know. Where is he? Uh, I made no video. So I got the message. He's in, but no video. Why? Been a few technical difficulties right now, my brother. But uh, big up everyone locked in right now. Friday Flex 102.5, Eva FM. You, know, you can catch us on www.evafm.com online. And um, don't forget to add our social media pages at Friday Flex. Uh, at Friday Flex Show. Anyway, where are we at? Please put me live. I'm live. Well, go on, everyone. Hope you're good. I'm in my kitchen right now. This is um, when I do my fire from the kitchen series. I do it from right here. This is what I do. I normally just sit right here and doing my things. So we're sitting in the kitchen today. Doing the uh, social distancing kind of thing, you know? 
want to big up man like wavy wavy what you say my brother you're good when i also big up riff raff and stackhouse entertainment wagwan hope you're good my bro want to also big up who else is live let's have a look let's see who's on want to big up kish what you say my brother hope you're good as well so anyway stands stands a divine apart from the fact that for one of my favorite rappers, um and i would say my favorite kind of one of my favorite english rappers period i wouldn't it's not even a a city thing i genuinely love his flow i um i, I love the way he constructs sentences he's a clever rapper you know um so for me i've been kind of supporting stands divine for time and i i kind of sat down with him many times i remember many times of spoke to him and i said bro you've got a big big kind of career ahead of you trust me man because you you really do have bars and your voice sits right you know on the tracks that's why we've got standard divine in the studio um today well we're trying to get the link up sort of, sorted out got a brand new track out at the moment with a collaboration with a lester icon we're going by the new dj yes so dj yes and standard divine have put a little um track together this track's called move uh, we played it a little while ago but we had a few technical difficulties so i'm sure when we come back we will um play it again but anyhow i've been left without the team but we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep rolling ain't we what are we gonna what are we gonna do let's say some shout outs let's get a few more shout outs going oh we're back we're we back yeah yes 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 oh, yes yes I, I've, I've got, got you cap I, I, I was just checking a few things see nah, cool, right. i think we're good I, th I, th I think we're good do you know what i mean yeah for me as well yeah. stanza is a great great artist you know um good yeah. rapper like you said a very clever rapper he's he's his flows yes. exceptional the way he puts words yes. together so yeah and i'm feeling move i wanted to yeah. talk to stanza about the actual beat how the yes and his relationship came together yeah because DJ yes he's a legendary from he's legendary from leicester and he's a producer from our hood you know what i mean yeah absolutely bro absolutely yeah. so we, have we got stanza back now are we back james i can't I can't see him. Um, I can't see. Him. Maybe, maybe he could do his um, uh, log out and log back in. I, I, he said, "Ain't hey, um, you?" Yeah, me and you could do live. So he'll be on the phone, and me and you can be on the live. Yeah, because yeah, I've just got a work. new phone. Yeah, Two, we could do that. Six, that could work. One one nine four seven. Oh, the one six two six one one nine four seven. Okay, call us. Call us, bro. That's what we're gonna do. So um, yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's do this. So what we'll do is, while everything's plugged into here anyway, so the phone conversation will be able to hear directly through here, and it'll be me and you on the video, right? Perfect. That'd be perfect. Yeah. That what is do you reckon, a, Kat? That is yes. That that is a good good plan B. With plan A, I'd love to have seen stands around the screen, you know, but but yeah, man, to hear the brother. One oh, here he is. You can Here hear we the go. Phone ring. Go. Ding ding. Okay, bro. Yo. I'm gonna put you live on air. Yeah. Okay. Safe, bro. Yeah, man. Okay. Let's get this brother live on air. Yo, Stanza. What's going on? What's going on? Can you hear us? I can see you, but you can't see me. I know, but we got you. Oh, we got no. you. The phone conversation's here, right? <laughs> What's good? What's good? What's good? Okay, sorry about that. We, we're having a few tech problems, but you know what? Mine's is absolutely crystal clear. Curves is coming quite clear as well now. It might be. It might be me, man. Okay. It might be me. Everyone's telling me to upgrade my phone. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't worry, bro. Hopefully, we, we got you anyway. We, you, you're, you're on, so that's the main thing, right? How you been? Wicked. I've been good, man. I've been good. I've been good. Lockdown's been tough like it has been for everybody. Yeah, but it's had its, it's had its positives as well. It's had its ups and downs, some real trials and tribulations, but some real high points as well. So I can't complain, man. We're all still here. Definitely, definitely. It's, it's been tough times, challenging times. But you've been busy, right? You've been cooking, right? Cooking music, cooking music, writing a film, okay. acting, loads of stuff, man. So I've not really got my foot on the gas like that musically. I've I've, I've had a couple of tracks that i've done and i've sent off to to emi and that's gone to their their uh, music library so hmm. they're self-produced and self-written self-recorded it's the first time i've done that so i've 
I've been doing bits and bobs, but my foot's not really on the gas like that. I'm still going hard, but I, I can go harder. You can go harder? Absolutely. Okay, so so before we even go into all the other stuff that you've got, you have, that, like the movie, the EMI stuff, tell me about Move, your single. Yeah. Move, man, it's something that I'm, I'm proud of. Mm. Um, it's very traditional and it's, it's always been important for me to stay connected with the generations beforehand as well, the ones that paved the way for us, because without them and the sacrifices that they made before it was even popular, when it was frowned upon, without the foundations they laid, there's, there's no us. So it's important for me to to always look back and tip my hat to them and, and work with them and learn from them as much as I can as well. So it was as much about making the track as it was just even just spending time with Yes and, and getting his knowledge on how things were. I think it's very important because the, the style of hip-hop that we do, it seems to be dying out a little bit. And I think we're the last generation that can truly carry on because we was authentically there for like the last part of it. Definitely. So how did the link up happen with Yes? I can't even remember, man. I think we, we linked up at one of the shows, probably Music Cafe, hmm. and just got chatting. It was like, yeah, we should make a track, man. And it took a while for that to actually happen. A lot of it was just sitting down and chatting and learning the history behind tunes like Time for Action, learning about D crimes history and all of that sort of stuff before we even got to making the track itself. Okay, okay. I just, I'm, I'm loving the vibe in it. Me and Kev, you have been talking about Move, the song. Um, your your style, your, your style of MCing as well. Is that right, Kev? Yeah, man, we were talking about the bar because I was saying that you're a very clever rapper, Stanza. You, you definitely come across it as a man who has intelligence and the kind of guy you'd want to sit with and just kind of converse with because i reckon you, you you definitely come across as someone who is very well versed you know so um i i love love your rap style and i was saying earlier on for me and, and i've told you this in person as well bro for me you're not just a great leicester rapper for me you're a great british rapper you you are one of the greatest in this country bro you know, I just think, and we've talked about it before about connections and watering down, and you know what we're trying to say. And you, you, you know the deal. You know, and sometimes when yeah. you're keeping it realer than real, you know that you're going to limit certain elements of growth. You know that, bro. And we've talked, and and that's part of it. And at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with that. But but without a shadow of a doubt, there's people out there, and I'm sure there's hundreds of people who think like me, who will say, trust me, man, stands is like top five, you know, in this country. Forget anything else. You know, you you are you are sick, bro. Legit, you are sick. The only difference with you and the guys who are known as being sick is the fact that they're doing all the watered down stuff. You know what I'm saying, my brother? And and that's the difference. But um, yeah, without a oh, shadow of a doubt, you, 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 you have got, Tim, you've got it. And we said... And, and you know, bro, it's no different to I've said it to you like four years ago, three years ago, two years ago. It is as, as real as that. You know, me and Veej think very highly of you. And we've always thought very highly of you. You've always got Friday Flex support, Eva FM support. You know that in everything we do. Um, it, and it literally is that. You're big up Cowpesh logged on right now as well. Sorry. Yeah. I want to give a big shout out yeah, to Mr. Cowpesh. Stanza, tell us a little bit more about Move and, and the song and the lyrics about it and, and, and what kind of influenced you and inspired you to make that song. Yeah. First off, I just want to say thanks to Curfew for the kind words, man. I uh, appreciate it. It means a lot, man. Um, it's, it's, it's all about sort of making impact. And I, I want to be at the level where, you know, it's not just the UK, but I want to be competing with the Americans. You know, 100%. I, I want them to, yeah, 100%. I want them to know as well that... Over here, we understand the history and we can really bar. Hmm. It's not just a, you know, it's not just a, a copy and paste thing. We got hmm. our own style, but we can go just as hard as them. So, yeah, I think part of that was was behind move. Really, I took a lot of inspiration from some from some great rappers um, and learned from them. Obviously, I've always got to big up the US and tip my hat to them because they're the originators. Um, yeah, and it's yeah. all about sort of not just being satisfied with being good for a UK rapper, but I just want to be known as a good rapper, period, like internationally. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think you can compete with, with them US guys or globally, shall I say. I, I, I think the talent's there. 
Um, um, definitely talents there. The bars are there. The flows there. The rhyming schemes are there. Um, so how long have you been rhyming for like this and and keeping it that boom bap hip hop style? Um, initially, I was a grime kid, man. I thought so. Like, uh, yeah, Before our conversation. Oh. Yeah, I grew up on like first UKG. So yeah, yeah. Heartless Crew, Pay As You Go, um, Be Live, Five Bar. Mm. Mm. I used to listen to them guys every day on the okay. way to school, on the way back from school, during school, during lessons. I was I was on that part. And then um, there was the transition. And then there was like the roll deep phase, Wiley, Dizzy Rascal, and their pirate radio phase, uh, Kano, D double E. All of them guys, they were probably my first inspirations musically. It wasn't until okay. around E A V A sharing the rich you just cultures is Eva FM. Every step aside. Every road cross to avoid passing on the pavement. Every gap we mind on public transport. Every space left between shopping trolleys. Everyone who keeps a safe distance, if they have to go out, is helping stop the spread of COVID-19. Because around one in three people who have it have no symptoms and are spreading it without knowing. Everything we're doing is making a difference. Let's keep going. Stay home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. This is Eva FM. Every soap grabbed, every tap turned, every 20 second hand wash, the moment to get home. Every sanitizer bottle okay. searched for in our bag every time we pick up a package or have to go into a shop. Everyone who keeps their hands clean is helping stop the spread of COVID 19. Because anyone can catch it and anyone can spread it. Everything we're doing is making a difference. Let's keep going. Stay home, protect the NHS, save lives. Serving the community, 102.5, Eva FM. Every face covering, worn over mouth and nose. Every time we're on public transport or make an essential trip to the shops. Every pair of steamed up glasses. Everyone who wears a face covering properly is helping stop the spread of COVID-19. Because anyone can catch it and anyone can spread it. Everything we're doing is making a difference. Let's keep going. Stay home, protect the NHS, save lives. Serving the community, 24 hours a day. Eva FM. Every window opened to let in fresh air. Every room well ventilated. When a carer or electrician calls. Everyone who opens a window when someone else is in their home is helping stop the spread of COVID-19 because it helps blow away coronavirus particles that could be in the air. Everything we're doing is making a difference. Let's keep going. Stay home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. Hello, this is Anoop Jalota and you are listening to Eva FM. Whatever you like, listen to the song. And whatever you like, listen to the song. Ebra FM is a multilingual radio station serving the diverse communities of Leicester on 102.5 FM. For advertising and sponsorship, email sales at ebrafm.com or call 07811-659-364. Serving the community, 102.5 Hey, we're back. Eva FM, 102.5. It's the Friday Flex Show. You got your boy, Veach. You got your main man, Curfew, here as well. We're going in live. We got Stanza on a phone call because of technical issues. So what are you saying, Stanza? Are you still there, bro? There are. They, they are, yeah, they are. So yeah, they you were talking. You, you you were talking about you, so how, about you and your music inspiration, and you were talking about the UKG and the grind scene. So where did the hip hop come from, especially the old school boom bap style? Yeah, um, that came around. You know what? I was I first got introduced to Nas and Illmatic when I was about sixteen. Okay. Hold up, hold tight, uh, my brother Bino. He played me Illmatic, and them times I. I was into hip hop, but I was only really into West Coast. So I'd listen to Dr. Dre, Eminem, Exhibit, Snoop, uh, West Side Connection, Ice Cube. I weren't really feeling East Coast. I didn't really? like it. Really? Yeah, because, Whoa. because 
believe it or not, I wasn't really that deep into lyricism yet. Okay, okay. So I got introduced. We went on holiday to Tenerife and I got introduced to Ilmatic. I was like, nah, man, I'm not feeling this. What? I'm not feeling this. And then it was years later that I really took in Nas's lyricism. And I was like, whoa, I'm blown away by this. Hmm. So that was probably the first thing that happened, really, that sort of turned my head towards hip hop. And even at college, there was a couple men that were saying like, yo, you sound better on hip hop, you know? Mm. I, just, I don't know, I didn't really take much notice of it. And then in about 2006, when I moved to Leicester and I started uni and I focused on education and the people I was hanging around at uni, they was into hip hop. Okay. And okay. old school hip hop. And then I started to listen to Chai. I started to listen to Common. I started to listen to Most Def, Chalib Kwali, these guys. And that really started to, to shape what I was doing with my pen. Wow. Okay. So that's, it's, it's quite an um, um, inspiring story, really, because what you're saying there, where you started in terms of your musical taste and, and your musical style, and then you moving on to this boom bap hip hop style after, after you moved and you got into education and you started to hear that lyricalism, like you're saying, wow, that, 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 that's really quite something. You know, Kerf, what do you reckon on that? Yeah, would you even imagine that about Stanza? I never, I never would have imagined that. No, he didn't like uh, what? <laughs> and I was the opposite way. I never liked West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's crazy. crazy. It's, 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 it's just easy. crazy. I can't come like but that. I so, what you what you influenced by? Yeah. So, would you say Nas is your favorite solo artist still? Hands down. Okay. Hands down. Snap, snap, snap. Yeah. For me, as a solo artist, I always yeah. say no, yeah. you know, definitely. Best to do it, man. Best yeah. to do it. I I, um, I empathise with him because whatever he does after Illmatic is never good enough. And I'm like, what? What are you not listening to? Everything he does is incredible. 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 Yeah. Just like yourself, um, 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 Sansa, you, you've been really well. Tell me um, about your last EP, EP that the mixtape you did. Yeah. Tell the fans a it's, little bit about that. It's funny you say that, man. I was listen, listening back to it for the first time in ages this week, a couple of days ago. Huh. So, yeah, my debut mixtape, Poetry in Motion, that came out November 2018. Um, and, yeah, man, I put my heart and soul into it, and it, it's definitely aging well. Yeah, some so, say it's a classic, and I probably agree with it. To be fair, but I've got a bone to pick with you on that. You know, I what know that what it is. is. I know what it is. <laughs> so I have I to say, it it, right, Kev? I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna so let I you tell the people. Copy. <laughs> you ain't got it yet. Not my copy. I just want the radio version, so we can yeah. play on radio, right? I know. I know. Yeah. The thing is, though, I need to go through that and, and edit all of that. Hmm. I'm gonna do it. I will do it. I will do it sooner than later, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just got to rem I just got to remember in my head which ones need cleaning up. Okay, def definitely, definitely, because yeah. and and is Warriors on that mixtape? Yeah, yeah. So I've got Warriors. I think we played it earlier yeah. on in the show. So we've got some of the songs I think that you've sent us. Tell us okay. about Warriors. How did that happen? Because I love that tune as well. Warriors. Oh man, I recorded it. I think I recorded that that verse or those verses over a couple of beats because it's a mixtape hmm. and I just weren't satisfied with it and I remember coming across this new Jarby's beat and I was just like this this is the one and I recorded the verses but I didn't have a hook yet hmm. and I could just hear Jaffa on it I couldn't hear anybody else I could just hear Jaffa on it and I just handed him and I was like bro you need to be on this tune there's no way anyone else can do it and he came through to, to Clarence Street and we got it done, man. It's crazy. Yeah, and so I, I, was, I was there when he recorded his, his hook and that as well. So, oh. yeah, man, they weren't just like a send it over the internet type thing. I was in there. We were in the studio together. Yeah, man, Jaffro is, Jaffro is, like I said, an amazing artist. And me and Kerf have always loved the whole concept around Warriors and the way it's kind of... I think with the hook on there, it make, it completes the song. You know what I'm saying, Stans? Absolutely. Absolutely. Jaffro's an incredible artist. And, you know, like you say, he's got a, 
a very long and successful career ahead of him. Mm. I rate him highly. Okay. Kev, I'm going to bring you in right now. It's just me doing the talking. I know it's difficult on video. You just nah, got to join. It's cool, Kev. No, nah, I'm just it. listening. I, I love listening. I love listening, man. But that, um, I did tell you what, um, about uh, Warriors. Warriors, for me, is a very well-polished um, track. Good, great collaboration. And you know what? I really think things to happen to that track. And I think that maybe with that track, tap up somebody for you know um what's it called when uh, is it when they license it in movies and stuff sync deal yeah bro get a sync go for a sync deal on that track i think that type of track is somebody somewhere needs to use that somewhere it is a big tune love that collaboration is there any more collaborations you got coming up who are you working with bro um, i'm working this film that i'm working on i'm working on it with lady sanity so we've written it we've written it together hmm. we'll be acting in it together and i'm also producing a soundtrack for it as well so we'll be co collaborating on that but in an abstract way um moving forward i've not got any collaborations planned i've got some artists in mind but nothing oh, yeah. set in stone as yet so i need to get this, i need to get this movie out of the way and then okay. i'm back on the music You've actually oh, worked with Lady Sanity in the past. She's from Birmingham, just for the listeners out there. Lady Sanity is yeah. a, another amazing MC. We've had her on our events a few times. Um, but you've worked with her in the past, right? Yeah, yeah. We've done a track together um, with Cynical. Yes. Called what was push, it called? Push Forward. Forward. Push forward. Push yeah, forward. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, See, yeah. I ain't even got that. You know what I'm saying, Stanza? We don't have that. <laughs> Okay, okay, I need to get that to you. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I'll get on to Cynical and get him to send that to you. Yeah. That's a big track as well. Lyrically, everyone smashed so it. How, how did that all happen, the link up with Sanity? And, and because Sanity's making moves. She was on, yeah. she's, she's been doing bits for a long time. Yeah, Sanity, I first saw Sanity ages ago. I can't even remember, it's years ago mm. now. Mm. But she mm. was at uni at the Montfort mm. and she did a show at, Somewhere on Broadstone Gate, anyway, and I went and seen her there, and I was like, "Yo, this this chick is heavy, hmm. heavy." And then heavy. reached out, and we've just sort of supported each other ever since. Okay, okay. And we've got the what, what's the, solid. So what's, with, what's about the movie then? Tell us about the movie thing, Stans. What's this movie thing you're doing then, bro? What what, what you got? Yeah. Planned? Initially, that was supposed to be a theatre piece that we're working on in conjunction with Oxford University and Sputnik Theatre Group. Um, due to lockdown, we had to kind of improvise and work around it. So it was supposed to be a live theatre piece. But with but we had to think about how we could do it safely. So we then decided to do a short film and we're starting to film that next week definitely so, yeah wow. acting debut no pressure <laughs> <laughs> all wow. i'm going to say is enjoy yourself while you're doing things like this just enjoy yourself creativity you know how it goes you know um um there is no pressure you know when you're enjoying yourself right that's the one you know that's the one you know okay no no yeah i think it's great like i said it's something which you said to me what's going to help you you said at the start when we were on the phone v i need to push myself more i need to really get down in this music thing what's going to push you harder to kind of move that forward the other things not so much your musical side of things the more like getting your music out there being there being mm. more consistent on that side do you know what the music is so important to me yeah that's all I really care about. Like the, all of the other stuff, whatever happens, happens. Like it's not, I don't make music for that reason. I make music because I love it, like genuinely love it. And I just okay. want to give something great to the world. I know I need to promote myself, but there's only so far that I can take that. I'm, I'm very old school. I'm not a TikToker. I'm not, I'm not one of those artists that likes to be in the spotlight all the time. I'm just not that guy. No, I definitely hear you. It's just, it's just something someone once said to me. One of my mentors said to me a long time ago, VJ, it's great the work you're doing, but if no one can find the, 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 the positive work that you're doing, 
it's not going to help as many people as it can. So in terms yeah. of, do you know what I'm saying? So us as conscious people in the music industry, like you said, there's a lot of stuff. And, and something else you said as well, that we may be the last generation that's going to be doing the boom bap style. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, see, I don't ever want to hear that. I want to hear it's going to carry on forever. And I think it will. Um, there's always going to be pockets of it going on, whether it's the next generation or the generation after. So do, don't you think even more so we've got more on our heads to keep pushing it to the next generation as well? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel like I'm at the stage now where I've done as much as I can as a solo, independent artist. Yeah. So doing everything myself, yeah. more or less. Yeah. Um, apart from the people that I, I sort of hire to do certain things for me. So huh. management is something that could come in the future, in the near future, maybe it's something that I'm considering because I do probably, to take it to the next level, I probably do need more of a team around me as well. But at the same time, you know, I feel like when art is solid, the way I make it, it's always going to go where it needs to go in the end. And I plan to be doing this for a long time as well. I'm looking at Jigga still doing this at 50 odd. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, not? not going to be not? stopping this anytime soon. I'm looking to be doing this, you know, into my 50s, man. So keep going, G. <laughs> yeah. so you, look, you look at it like that. I'm, I'm young in the game still. Yeah, hundred percent. Curfew's a lot older than both of us. You know what I mean? Yeah, trust, um, me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, trust me, and I'm still here, bro. Still here. And he's going still strong. Knocking, he's got his still knocking on that door. <laughs> trust me. No, man. no. I, I, I think it's. I think it's amazing. You know what I mean? Um, um. So, in terms of, are you looking forward to things opening back up? Absolutely, absolutely. Performing. I can't wait. I can't wait to perform. Certain tracks, even tracks of poetry and motion, I know they're going to hit harder because mm. when it came out, yeah. it was, you know, it was before lockdown. I feel like now everyone's had time to sort of sit and reflect on life a bit more. I feel like conscious music's going to have a bit more impact mm. when things open up. I feel like it's going to pull up on uh, people's emotions a bit more and people are going to be a bit more open to it. And, and a lot of the themes that I was discussing on Poetry in Motion as well were kind of a little bit ahead of their time in terms of people don't always get things that I say straight away. It might take a couple of years for it to sink in. And I want to do Move Live as well. I'm looking forward to that. Definitely. I, th yeah. I, th I think move, doing Move Live would, would definitely be something. So I was just telling Curfew, while we are having all these technical issues, um, we've already planned the next Friday Flex Showcase, which is happening on the 30th of May. Um, I'll definitely hit you up about that um, because I think Move needs to be performed live at our showcase. If you're down, you're down. Let me know. 100%. Okay. Ain't going to ask me to ask. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Curfew, do you want to ask the Next quite a little see. delay, but yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay, you know, my brother. Um, just hey, go Sander, go what, go the, go. what material you got coming out, brother? Any any new material coming soon then? Or is it just um, the movie next, next and then you got some things bubbling in the background? Because I, I bet you probably got like 100 tracks in the background. <laughs> I've got a sequel to one of my tracks pending. I'm not going to say which one it is. Um, and I've got videos in the pipeline for the tracks I did for EMI, so they're not going to come out on a project, but I like the tracks, so I want people to see visuals for them, and they're a bit different to what I usually do as well, so, yeah. Sure. Ex so the EMI ex ones? A few more videos before the year's out. The EMI <laughs> ones, right? That's right, yeah. Uh, you're not releasing them? Okay, got you, so you're making videos for those? And you produce them yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you actually producing stanza? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's... yeah. So this will be the first time that people yeah. hear me on the buttons. I've it's been funny. working on production for a while in the background, but I've just not released any of it yet. Okay. What made so you go into year... production? What made you go into production? I've been producing a long time. Okay. Okay, that's new uh, to a me. A long time. Yeah, I've been producing. Almost as long as I've been spitting, really. Mm -hmm. It's just not not time yet. But when the time is right, you'll hear a lot of production, like me and my own production. Wow. So, so what programs do you like to use, bro? 
I'm awkward. I use programs that no one else uses. I'm using Studio One at the minute. It's a lot like um, really? Cubase, but I like the I like the workflow. It's simple. I hear you. I hear you that with Cubase and and you know what I mean. Um, Studio One. I'm not a producer, but I do do editing music, obviously with radio. Yeah. Curve, Curve, Curve probably does a bit of producing. I think with June, um, his his bro. You know what I mean. They probably do a lot of produce, yeah. production work. I use I prefer Cubase, but he's just left Cubase and gone on to Logic now. Yeah, Logic sick as well. I know how to use Logic as well. Mm. Logic sick, especially the new one, Logic X heavy. Mm. So, so how come we've heard you spit bars or be MCing, but not this producer? Just because I don't feel like I'm, I've, I haven't felt ready yet. Okay. Like, if you think I'm a perfectionist with the bars, I'm worse with the beats. Oh, okay. You see, um, me as a me as a radio presenter um, and somebody that's been involved in creative arts for a long time and working with so many different people, this thing when people say to me, ready, stands up, I don't like that word. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, because that's, I think, sometimes that's holding people back. Um, um, I think it's good sometimes to get stuff out there and then feel feel what the creativeness is saying. Like you said, if you're a perfectionist with your rap, imagine what you like with your bar. I mean, with your production. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I just feel that you should put something out there at least sooner than better. Yeah, coming yeah? I mean, this year. It's already out. Okay, it's already out. It's searchable. It's searchable. You can find it. I don't want to create too much around it before I do the video. So. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's, that's good, that's oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so it's all about projects coming out and, I, and I'm liking that you're going to stay a bit more busier and a lot more active because for me, I want to see artists today in the age we're in right now. We just got to yeah. be real. It's very hard to kind of do what them old school guys did by dropping an album every so often or a track every so often. It has to be a lot more consistent. Does that put pressure on artists like yourself? Nah, because I just take the pressure off. When the pressure comes on, I just take it off. Because hmm. it's about the music. So it, it takes as long as it takes. I feel like in this day and age, there's a lot of, um, a lot of disposable rap. Definitely. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to make that. I'm trying to make rap that's going to outlive me hmm. and age well. You know, there's a, there's a lot of UK stuff now, when you listen back to it, that made a lot of money, but when you listen back to it, it's not aged well. Definitely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And really and truly, it's important for me to contribute something to the culture. So, so, so where I'm at is I get... we. On, on the Eva FM, um, on, on the Friday Flex e um, email alone, we get like 500 tunes, maybe more a week. Um, wow. I'm, I'm not lying, bro. And most of them, I, I don't need, I can't even, I just look at the covers and I say, I'm not interested. That's how, <laughs> it, that's how it is now. Because I, <laughs> or, or I'm reading the press release or I'm reading it or I'm putting the beat on and I'm hearing, like you said, disposable. The, 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 it just needs disposing. That rap is not rap. It's not emceeing in my eyes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. so, so I hear what you're saying with that, but also there's, I'm quite happy as if in the last two years, I've seen so much good hip hop, um, yeah. lots and lots of good hip hop. 2020 was one of the greatest years for hip hop. I feel in a long time. 2020 was a good year, man. We've got a lot of good music. A lot of good music. A lot, a yeah. lot, a lot of good music. A lot of good music. Like I'm, I'm loving Dave East right now. You know, he's coming, he's coming like, phew, differently, yeah. differently, differently. You got, you do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just crazy, yeah. you know? We um, got a dope, we got a dope Nas album as well. So. Yeah, hundred percent. Nas has been on my playlist for some time now. You know what I mean? Benny the Butcher and their crews just killing it off right now differently. Um, so yeah. the US style, um, um, it, it's going really well. well how, what do you think of UK rap then? UK rap is its own thing really, isn't it? It's, mm. um, you know, there's the, the Afrobeat side of things and then there's the road rap side of things and it's doing really well. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like some of it, I like some of it, but I just feel, I don't know, I'm, I'm more traditional, I think. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I hear you. I, I hear it in your raps. Um, yeah, do, you want, yeah. do you want to say a few words about Is Ty it? as well? No, rest in peace, Ty. You know, it was really sad to hear that this year. Yeah, man. 
I know you 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 were on his personal tour, right? When that happened. Yeah, we yeah, we was on his last ever tour, man. That's a major honor. Hmm. Major honor. That like, Ty was Ty's music got me through some really difficult times, man. I'm glad that I was able to to tell him. That's basically how we, we linked, first of all. We went me and Lloyd Luther, we went to um chip shop and we did um the open mic there tore the place down and Ty was outside and I was like I've got to go and speak to this guy man because the way that his music helped shape me is, is something else and then through me telling him that he was like okay I'm going on tour do you want to join me on the lead leg and I was, couldn't believe wow. it wow wow you know one of my favorite artists of all time mm -hmm. period mm -hmm. and it was just it was a real privilege and a real honor to to get to be beside someone like that and to just to learn really i yeah, learned definitely. so much in a short space of time being around him yeah it was, it was it was a good guy as well you know he was a very good guy he was very humble he was taught he was always on about this um, unity vibe. Do you know what I mean? He was always about that from the very first yeah. time I met him a, a, a good few years ago. Yeah, it weren't just words. He was about mm. it, like really, really about it. Mm. You know, it was, it was at a stage where I could ring him and just chat, and that was really helpful. And he was actually um, getting on a lot of platforms in 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 like just before the um, lockdown was over and before his passing. You know, he was really yeah. getting back out there again. So it was really sad to see him go. You know? Yeah, deservedly so. Deservedly mm. so. He's one of the best artists that's ever come out of this country, hands down. Phenomenal. And he would produce his own stuff as well. Not a yeah. lot of people knew that. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you speak to him um any just before or, or, or any time last year? Um we, we we went to the Kingdom tour. Yeah. So we went and supported them on that as well. Not performing but we went to a couple of shows and, and supported that and i spoke to him then so you can you can see us in the um black twangs video for time we're there me and Lloyd Luther were there um and that, i think that was probably the last time that i spoke to him okay okay yeah i i know the last time i spoke to him was at the last friday flex it was in may 2019 i believe yeah um, yeah um when when when, when us on stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was right. Um um the King so, Game Tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was when we brought them over to CAF in the Friday Flex showcase. Um yeah. I think that was great to have them there, you know. Um Black Twang and, and Rodney P. It was great to see them there. After that, yeah. I never got I never got to see Ty perform. I really wanted to go and see him, but then there was mm -hmm. there was a few events that I didn't go to. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever did you ever see him perform live? Yeah, 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 yeah. Loads yeah. of times, lots of times. Yeah, I seen yeah. him. I seen him support um, um, Cypress Hill, um, uh -huh. KRS. We, um, where else did we go in London? Um, Chip Shop. I seen him perform in Chip Shop a few times. Yeah. Um, but every time we used to go, that he was there. The first time I ever saw Ty perform, I was fourteen years old, and I went to see okay. what was supposed to be Jay Z's last ever show at Earl's Court, and Ty was supporting him. That was the first time I ever heard of Ty. Okay. And then I didn't buy one of Ty's albums until 2006. Wow. Okay, so that's and a I big gap. Absolutely, wow. And then I just absolutely, that's when his music really resonated with me, and I huh. absolutely rinsed it. Huh. Um, and then it was like, yeah, 20, 2018, actually met him in person, went, huh. on, went on tour. He put us on at the Jazz Cafe. So much happened, man. It's a very surreal experience. Even now I think about it, like, how did that happen? Huh. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. crazy. You know, we're going to go in an advert Two in minutes. literally minutes. So do you okay. want to say any final words before we kind of close down? Just thanks for having me, man. No Move problem. is out now. Shout out to DJ Yes. Make sure you keep streaming it, keep watching the Thank video. You. And yeah, look out for look out for the movie with me, Lady Sanity, and more music, more videos this year. Okay. A few more videos this year, definitely. You know what? Apologies, we couldn't get some technical problems both sides. Um, it seems to be working fine with me and Kerf on. Um, but we had you on the phone. Kerf, do you want to say any words? Yeah, man. Do you want to say stands, man? Just keep doing your thing, my brother. We're always here to support you. Uh, make sure you come through for the Friday Flex. He's gone. So we would love for you to just blow up the stage. You get me, brother? Um, 
But other than that, thank you so much for sending at FridayFlex.com. For anyone else who's listening as well, radio edits, please, music at FridayFlex.com. Care for your beach, okay. Friday Flex. Yeah, Stanza, we've got literally 40 seconds left. Um, yeah, it was fantastic having you. Like I said, need more music from you. And don't forget to send us them tunes. Yeah, come in, man. We get to chop it up, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Enough love to you as well, bruv. You know what I mean? Good chopping it up with you. And and we hopefully when lockdown's over, we can call you in the studio and we can have a real conversation. Yeah, you can get some bars as well. Let's yeah. Do that. You know what? I yeah. was going to say that to you. I wanted to, yes. for you to give some bars. Um, but today, I was gonna do it. Today. I was gonna do it on the video for you, but it didn't work. So you know what I mean. Um, it's yeah. calm. It's calm. They can wait a little longer for that. <laughs> you like to yeah. make people wait, yeah? When they're when you're ready, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah, it. Okay. This is it. <laughs> All right, bless up, brother. Nice having you. Yeah. Bless Take up, care, brother. Peace, E A V. A. Sharing the richness of cultures. This is Eva FM. Every unopened. Every trip unmade.